organization wants to make the best data-driven technology decisions they can, and they need to do it at today's rapid pace of business. Aptio BI was created to enable users of any Aptio product to turn data into insights and insights into actions. At the heart of this capability is a rich and easy-to-use reporting interface that allows end-users, not just administrators, to easily create and share the reports and visualizations that matter most to their part of the organization. This toolset has recently received a major new set of capabilities with the introduction of Aptio BI Reports. Aptio BI Reports are reports designed by the various Aptio product teams to focus on specific areas of interest and populate automatically with data directly from your implementation of Aptio products. While many users enjoy the flexibility of starting from a blank canvas for their reports, many value out-of-the-box reporting for rapid time to value as well as an inspiration for future report generation. Now, Aptio BI gives you the best of both worlds and allows you to focus on the information you need to make better decisions, optimize your IT investments, and receive a starting point for utilizing best practices throughout Aptio BI. BI reports are created and maintained by Aptio and are accessed directly from the Aptio BI landing page with availability tied to the credentials of the current user. This first set of newly released reports includes coverage for core financials, budgeting overviews, and executive views of cloud spend. Updates and new reports are released at the end of every month. As we drop into this report, you can see the amount of information already available without any incremental configuration, including cost by timeframes, vendor breakdowns, and transaction types. But these reports can also be a springboard to more customized views. With a couple clicks, I'm able to replicate this report, and now I can edit it to deliver exactly what I want. This could include changing the graphic to one of the many visualization types, and adding in a defined or customized calculated metric for enhanced visibility, such as calculating the variance between two plans in the same visualization. Like in any visualization, I can also add or adjust the date range. Here, I can customize and even compare multiple dates in one visual, such as estimated spend for the current month compared to that from the previous month. I can even add one or more filters to my visuals for greater specificity. Once I finish editing this visualization, I can save my new report and share it with others who will benefit from it. Let's take a look at one final Aptio BI report, an executive view of cloud costs for some best practices. Remember that in addition to editing a visualization, I can also copy, export, or delete it. Now that I've duplicated my report, I can delete a visual, adjust a visual to fit the needs of my viewers, or even drill into individual elements for more detail. I can go into the Options tab here, choose Exploration Mode, and change the display options for my visualization here, or adjust decimals. Once I've adjusted these drilling parameters, I can go back to my report, scroll to the visualization, and see them directly in the report. I can even go into individual elements for greater granularity to identify the data I need most. We're just getting started with Aptio BI reports, and you'll see many more reports being published regularly for all the Aptio products. You can learn more today on the website at aptio.com slash platform slash Aptio BI, or join the conversation and provide your input in the Aptio community at community.aptio.com.